In this fully animated lecture, I will teach you what is allotropy. You can also learn about different allotropic forms of oxygen, carbon and sulfur. The existence of an element in more than one forms in same physical state is called allotropy. For example, oxygen is an element and exists as diatomic oxygen O2 which we use for respiration and life is impossible without this form of oxygen. Second form of oxygen known as triatomic molecular oxygen O3 which is known as ozone this form naturally exists as protective layer in atmosphere known as ozone layer it helps our environment from harmful ultraviolet radiations both forms exist in the same physical state both are gases at room temperature so known as allotropic forms of same element but different number of atoms in their molecules another type of allotropy in which number of atoms are same but they exist in different forms due to different arrangements of atoms in molecule i have an example for you sulfur can exist in several allotropes the most common allotropes are rhombic and monoclinic sulfur both allotropes contains same number of atoms but different in their arrangement they always show different physical properties but have same chemical properties i have a little confusion is it possible to convert one allotrope into another i find answer for you yes it's possible to change one allotrope of an element into another this process is called allotropic transformation allotropes change into each other when the pressure temperature or light exposure of an element changes for example below 96 degrees celsius rhombic form is stable If rhombic form is heated above 96 degrees Celsius its molecules rearrange themselves to give monoclinic form this temperature is known as transition temperature so this the temperature at which one allotrope changes into another let me give you more examples phosphorus exists in two allotropic forms white and red phosphorus both exist as tetraatomic molecules but different in arrangement of atoms Both allotropes also show different physical properties. White phosphorus is very reactive, poisonous and waxy solid, while red phosphorus is less reactive, non-poisonous and a brittle powder. The transition temperature of phosphorus is 250 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, white phosphorus is converted into red phosphorus. Let me teach you some allotropes of carbon. Carbon exists in three main allotropic forms: diamond, graphite and buckminster fullerene diamond has a giant macromolecular structure whereas graphite has a layered structure of hexagonal rings of carbon buckminster fullerene consists of spheres made of carbon atoms arranged in pentagons and hexagons diamond is extremely hard transparent bad conductor of electricity with a 3d network of carbon atoms graphite is soft slippery good conductor of electricity composed of flat layers of carbon atoms let me explain most important allotrope of carbon buckminster fullerene also known as buckyball it is an allotrope of carbon consisting of 60 carbon atoms it has a cage like fused ring structure made of 20 hexagons and 12 pentagons buckminster fullerene is named after the geodesic dome design of architect richard buckminster fuller due to its resemblance to a soccer ball Fullerenes are stable at high temperatures and high pressures. Being covalent in nature, they are soluble in organic solvents. The fullerene structure is unique because it is not charged, no boundaries, and has no unpaired electrons, so cannot conduct electricity. Buckyballs are good lubricants because of their spherical shape. Their hollow structure could make them useful for delivering medicine in the future. Fullerenes are used in making carbon nanotubes based fabrics and fibers i hope this video helped you if you find it interesting don't forget to like it and subscribe for more educational content like this thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video